Now, this will be a fast video. First off, it's one hell of a rabbit hole to go down here to try to find out of 5,763 pages. Maybe one of you hard drivers will find it for before I do. But I've been going through the addresses. I've been trying a few different angles to attack to find concrete pavers, stamped overlay, or uh, um, the address, via the address, and it's it's not that easy. They they mix hundreds of uh, 350 something into one. I'm trying different angles. So let, let, let's jump into the angle. What I'm trying to find is that who authorized the paper installation? From that, who authorized the paper installation? Let's talk about the engineer that went back, the current engineer that went back and blamed the the original guy for having a sloped deck, a non-sloped deck, that his deck was flat, all right? He had a flat deck. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, his deck was flat. He didn't have any curvature down to the uh, drains. He lacked curvature. He had a straight deck. All right, so let's talk about if that's the case, and they authorize the stone pavers, if you come over here, let's do some extrapolation. Man, they man, they make you pull a permit. When I say man, I mean everybody here, right? So, uh, and, and I'll tell you the policing part. In policing, you, male and female are interchangeable. Uh, he or she is interchangeable. They are inter interchangeable. So, uh, the, 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 uh, he or she, right? So, um... So back to this part, the uh, the uh, this deal here is that if he blamed the he blamed the original engineer for not sloping the deck, and they make you pull a permit for everything, you can look up here uh, pavers, and you'll find that pavers are a permitted cleanup, file renew of driveway pavers permit. They pavers everything, man. They're, they're everything down there about. About that, there's three, there's this number is gonna keep jack, jacking up right here. So uh, they make you pull permit for pavers. If that's the case for pavers, now it's only showing 152. It had more than that because I went through. Oh, I think I don't think I found it there. Under 52, I did not find uh, this building had paver permit. So they gotta pull that. They put pavers on it. At the time they put the pavers on, they were putting it over what? Concrete without, that looked like shit, apparently. And it's supposed to be waterproofing under there. But assuming it's not under there, assuming the engineer that specified the pavers was, put, who put the extra weight on. Okay, come on in, do the cameo. Come on in. There she is. There she is, my girl. Come on, girl. I can't hear you. They're not going to be here. She's too far. Maybe you can hear in the background. So, assuming that they could have pitched just like a roof, you pitch it, you pitch it. Then you see this pitch, the the foam they add, and the, and the protection they add, and then they put this tile on top. There's multiple ways that you water, you can waterproof a concrete deck before putting pavers on top. So if you guys are gonna blame the, that that go back to the first contractor from 40 years ago, that's reaching. That's reaching because they you don't you only have to go back as far as the paver guy. The paver installation should have made sure that that base was waterproofed before he put he or she, they, him, their, her, whatever we gotta say nowadays, before the company put down that those pavers, um, waterproofing should have been considered and installed. And then Oh look, I just did the job just recently for, for myself. I was trying to, I never made a video for you guys to show you how you can do an overlay. But I had a couple of cracks on the uh, deck there that would lead into my basement. It's an overhang a tight porch deal. And what did I do first? I waterproofed the cracks. And then I used a product too that was high. And I, I used a rapid set product because it really, and then I stamped it. But a rapid set is basically waterproof once it sets. Of course, you have to worry about cracks at that point. And if, that, if, if it cracks, you're going to have to uh, seek and flex it. Tough love. Tough love. Um, because more than likely, you, 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 don't want, you don't want that water underneath your... You do not want that water to get underneath your deck there. So, um, 
I'm pointing to you that you need to look no further than the tile guy. You don't have to go back to the original designer. Even if it was flat, there was many ways to pitch it. Just as you look at the roof details, they pitch it. They make a new pitch that, that, uh, in the details to make it go towards the drains. To make They confirm that pitch, rather, that it's going to go towards the drains. Well, same thing here. This guy, can, I'm going to end the video with that. That look no further than the paver guy if you're going to start reaching back. Look no further than the engineer and the permitting of the pavers that were allowed that go on top of here with, with the bad water waterproofing existing. Or are you telling me the pavers were just installed and the waterproofing was great right up until then? So to determine that, we have to go back to see when the first drips started coming through the floor. Was it always that way? As far as the other guy, the maintenance guy goes, come on, he's a maintenance guy. You know, I, I, I observe floating cars in the parking lot. Okay, maybe, maybe one, maybe there's a hurricane. Maybe there were some floating cars in the parking lot at one hurricane. You know, but that's dramatic. You're being, you're being dramatic. Hurricanes don't count. As the one lady on here stated, and I just let it play out some time without commenting. As, uh, as, as they, she stated, uh, 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 or, or shear walls and everything. It's already been through one hurricane. So why are we talking about shear walls? All right. It's already been through one hurricane. Uh, yes, I saw the wall that fell down. All right. That wall was a block, brick wall, block wall, and it was put back up. It didn't cause the deck to collapse in. It fell out into the street side. So, you know, nothing to see there. It blew down. Um, we need to see more than that. What's, well, I'm sorry. To see there, you can see the top floors apparently weren't hurricane proof. You see the, or, or somebody decided to open their window doors. You see the curtains blowing out. So apparently the doors were not uh, that, that level of, of uh, hurricane proofing. Ending the video with, again, you can do multiple layers, hot pitch, tar, to make that, make, make that first deck tight. We're going to get into repairs after this. I'm going to do some basic general repairs. You won't believe what I'm going to show you in the next one, how simple in principle it works and then I'll show you how you tie it together but first I'm going to show you something in principle I don't know whether to give away the teaser no I, I think not I think not I think I'll just tell you that because if I tell it to you you're gonna be like really okay yeah I think I'll tell this much I want you to think staples staples not the store but staples and you know the way I like to use double line trades meaning double meaning just enough hint but just enough to mess with your brain because I said staples. Think about it. I said staples. So you're going to literally think staples. Well, that's part of the hint. That's part of the hint. Take care. Bye.